Hey guys, welcome back. We're headed back towards the nature preserve. Just wanted to take a quick uh, stop in here real quick, give you an overview. This is the nice uh, lake that they have here. They actually have a... Oops, sorry, that, where's that? get that finger out of there. That's what she said. Uh, giggity. The little, uh, they got a little boat that goes around kind of nice you know it's really pretty I've taken it a few times a few islands out there uh, as I say we're gonna we're walking back to the nature preserve uh, we're gonna pause it until we get to the back there unless I see something the you know nice bit of nature to throw up so hang out with me a minute okay and we're back for a minute and kind of up in the tree there we got an osprey because uh, you know yeah, I know it's shaky. Well, you can hear them hollering up there. I'm gonna try to walk up and get a get a better picture. Hang on. Yeah, the lighting ain't the greatest, but yeah, that looks like an osprey sitting up there. They have all kinds of nest thingies up here for them. Back in the nature preserve, that's the first I've seen anything up this close. But. You know, it's too much backlit, it's late here. And get you a nice listen to his call there. Alright, we're gonna pause it on that and move. And we're back, coming up to the entrance of the nature preserve. The Edith G. Reed Wildlife Sanctuary. Real nice place here. Uh, you can see the. I can't really get over there because I don't want to scare them off their 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 uh, nest over there. Uh, excuse me. Um, hang on, we're gonna take a pause and see if I can get over a little closer and get a better picture of him. He's over there with his mate. Those are the one. That's those are the ospreys you hear hollering. Hang on. And we're back. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's the Osprey and the and his wife over there. Typical married couple having an argument about something, I guess. Either that or he's just telling me, you know, this is my spot, stay the hell off it. I don't know if they still have eggs yet. Because, uh, you know... Would seem, would seem to me be a little late in the season. But yeah, you got both the male and the female up there. But I'm not seeing... I don't know. Anyway, we'll take a pause till it's... Till we get a little farther back. Apparently the Ospreys have a lot to say today. It's really nice through here because they have the, you know, the nice well-kept paths, but also keep the, the wildness of, you know, the place. This is just, as I say, coming in. And I apologize for all the stops and starts, but, you know, I haven't uh, gotten the gist of doing editing yet. But, you know, stick with the channel, we'll figure it out. So, nice little, you know, they keep it really nice. Nice little sitting place over here. We'll take you up to see what's on the... Crap, I'm already at four minutes. Oh, I video too much. A little something about uh, Edith. Put it down here real quick so you can read. All right. At this point, we're going to pause it again. A uh, picture of the grand old lady herself, Edith G. Reed, who put forth all the money for this place. We're just I'm just going to stop it and pause it and put in when I see something interesting. And over here we have the nice little patch that they have for, uh, for the butterflies and, you know, the insects to have. Uh, yeah, oh, we can go in. Sorry about that. I know. 
you'll get used to my quirkiness. Take a walk inside. Actually, it's called the pollinator garden for all the critters that like to eat the pollens. But yeah, got not, lots of nice little bushes around here. You know, the black-eyed Susans and the cone flowers. But, you know, it is the, the middle of August and, you know, oh, hello, Monarch. Monarch just walk, flew, walked by. Yeah, sure it did. Just flew by. <laughs> give a quick walk around. You know, like I said, this is just to give you an idea what, what's up and around here. So we're going to pause this here again. The little outbuildings, that's the educational building. And then, you know, the outsheds for the equipment for mowing and stuff like that. So, like I said, it's a really nice place. Nice and quiet, you know, for us country folks. It's our, just push it, mouse. And, uh, you know, a little bit of a respite from the hustle and bustle and the noise. So, we're going to go take a stroll back into the woods over here. I'm going to kind of leave that out. So, you know, if you, if you actually live in the country, it'd be kind of boring for you. You know, or maybe not, but usually we let sometimes see some deer back here or, you know, some some wild turkeys, you know, the occasional rabbit. You know, you, it always amazes me being a country kid what, what wildlife you find in the city. Well, this ain't exactly the city, but, you know, I get some interesting wildlife that comes through my yard in the city, you know. The occasional possum, the raccoon and her kits. Haven't seen them in a while. I don't know why that is. Anyway, we're going to pause it here so in case I see something. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Yeah, the girlfriend's holding this little map. This is uh, how big this nature preserve is. It's actually pretty good size. It's got nice, you know, uh, you know, trimmed walking trails and things like that. So... Like I say, just a little overview. Oh, and I forgot, you know, from up the time I've been before, they actually have a hive that's inside the, the educational center. And they have the little bee door over there. You know, they're busy today. All right, with that, we're going to pause it again. Hey, and welcome back. You know how I said about, uh, you know, us having deer over here? There's one... Hopefully they'll let me get a little closer. Yeah, the doe, she's getting a little skittish. <laughs> See? Oh, enjoyable things. All right, we're going to pause because I'm a little loud and I scared her off. So if I see something again as we're going out in the back here, uh, there won't be any talking. I'll just be letting you see. Now they're going to head down to the lake.